I said Tyler graduated high school at 17. If I had it to do all over again, would I have reclassified him? Yes. But understand two things. One, at a certain age, probably in that freshman, sophomore window, Tyler demonstrated a superior skill set that I, I could foresee uh, gaining the interest of Division One coaches. That's number one. Number two, he went to a pretty stern boarding school uh, after his sophomore year. When I talk about, you know, if I had it to do all over again, I would have repeated Tyler as a sophomore going into that new school, that boarding school. And let's stop for a second and make sure I'm clear, crystal clear, reclassifying just for the sake of, you know, kind of pulling the reins back a little bit to make your son older and playing in a, you know, if he's 15 and he's going to go play 14 U baseball, that's not what this is about. This is about the long-term game. This yeah. is about the world that college coaches are sign- They're putting out the yellow caution flag. And, and, and I'm talking NAIA, JUCO, all divisions. The game is older. It's going to stay older because we have access to older, experienced student-athletes. Therefore, yeah. the, the high school graduate that comes in not prepared strength-wise, not prepared skill set-wise, may not be prepared academically – and needs that additional year of growth. Okay, well, that's where the reclassification would come in, not purely from an athletic perspective. So, Daniel, when I talk as a parent from that perspective, it's not from a baseball perspective. When Tyler graduated high school, he was six foot four, he was 200 pounds, but he, he was still not into his man body. And if you go look at Tyler's statistics in college as a freshman, he had a successful year, but he had a tremendous sophomore year. And that's when physical maturation, because he was 18 at that point, turning 19. So if he had been a freshman at that 18, 19 year old window, who knows what would have happened? So the biggest thing is, is college coaches are essentially telling us across the board. You have to be physically prepared. You have to be academically prepared. You have to have daily disciplines, routine, but most of all, structure. 